Hi everyone, Adish here. So now we're gonna talk about Arduino microcontrollers. So in this session, we will talk about what are the types of microcontrollers we have, Arduino microcontrollers, as well as how we can install the ID and how we can test the uh, all types of uh, available Arduino microcontroller with the ID, with the basic sketch, how we can upload and how we can install it and how we can test it so first thing we'll see what are the types of microcontrollers we have so we have three types of uh, broadly we have three types of microcontroller this is Arduino Nano which has 8, uh, 8 MB of memory so if we see the diagram of this so we can see that uh, it has uh, limited number of pins on that it has type it has mi uh, micro uh, mini usb for uh, uh, connecting to the computer and you can see we have uh, analog as well as digital pin as well as pwm pin on this so analog pins are like for uh, receiving analog signals digital pins are for receiving digital uh, signal as well as providing digital output to the different devices we have serial SDA SCL serial clock line serial data line so where we can do the serial communication with uh, other uh, microcontrollers we have PWM pin which is pulse width modulation so which we can use for servo motors and other sort of devices and we have tx and rx for transmitting data and receiving data on one and zero pin number zero and one is for tx and rx and then we have gnd we have five volt power supply we have 3.3 volt power supply on this so overall it has almost everything whatever we need but this is a this is the smallest uh, microcontroller available in the antenna family so if you see the size of this it's like very small and it has a number of pins here so by once it's required we'll just keep going through all type of all type of details about the pins and all it basically uses this is a mini this type of cable it is used to connect to the computer and it has a uh, type a on the other hand so this is the first type of microcontroller then we have very common which is Arduino uno it has 16 my 16 uh, byte uh, of uh, memory inside and it has all sort of pins whatever we need like if you see so the plus point with this the plus point with this is you can see here in the diagram we have 5 volt power out input directly and we can we have directly a uh, type b uh, usb for connecting to the computers and we have all sort of pins like 5 volt output gnd pins 3.3 volt output then we have sd and scl pins we have Pulse PWM pin on 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, 3. So basically, which has a tilt sign in front of the pin number, that's a PWM pin. And then we have A0 to A5 uh, analog pins. And other than that, we have digital pin from 13, 12, 8, 7, 4, 2. And uh, 0 and 1 is for transmitting data TX and RX. And we have I2C, SCA, SDA, and SCL serial clock and serial data uh, pins already. We have reset button and other things also we have. But I'm not gonna go into the detail. Once it's required, I'll just give you the detail about what is required to do. So it takes a Type B connector. If you see here in the camera. Here you can see here it takes type B connector and on the other hand it has a type A connector for connecting to the computer or laptop. 
and then we have the <coughs> biggest uh, Adreno which is Adreno Mega it has 32 MB of 32 MB of memory in, in that it has many pins so like this it has these two are almost have the same sort of pin but this is having almost double of the pins what is available in Adreno Uno so if we see the diagram for this we have almost everything but if you see we have analog pin from A0 to A15 which we have almost uh, triple of the earlier earlier uh, Adreno and here we can see we have pin number one pin number uh, 0 to 53 pins for data uh, like uh, digital communication where we have PWM pins also in between we have same 0 and 1 for TRX and TX then we have SD and SCL also we have 5 volt uh, 5 volt as well as uh, 3.3 volt as well as GNDs we have external power jack for plugging 12 volt power supply to that directly and we have it uses the same uh, like Arduino Uno it takes type B connector to connect to the computers and on the other hand it has the same uh, type A connector for con connecting to the uh, computers so here you see here it's like same sort of cable can be used for Uno and Mega for uploading and connecting to the computer so now see how we can install the IDs and how we can test it so we have to go to antino.cc we have to go to software and I'm using Mac so I'm gonna download for Mac but uh, based on your machine you can download so I'll download just a two minute process so here you can see we got it um, we got the app so what we can do we can just we can just drag it to the application folder here so it will be available in application folder and directly we can search it here and you know what so first time it will take time to open so here you can see here the id is open now so what we have to do here is first we'll try to connect it to the try to connect it to the computer so what we'll do we'll just I'll just try to connect it with nano first So to connecting to nano, nano you can see the pin so we have to use it so we use this one and we will just try to connect to the laptop and once I connect it you can see it has uh, power 
LED on. So what we have, we can do in demo case so and build sketch. So we'll go to file example basic blink sketch here, and we'll go to tool. We'll see uh, USB serial 1420 that support, and we'll go to Arduino boards, and we are using Nano here. So in the board manager, we'll just select Arduino Nano and we'll just compile this code and we'll upload this code once code is uploaded okay it says so these are the common problem here like to select now it's selected check mark is there now you can see the code is uploaded Still uploading the code. So you can see there's a small light is blinking, small LED is blinking. You can see that code is uploaded on this and it's working fine. So now we'll test it with other Arduinos also. It's the same process. You have to just you just connect the cable here. You see with Uno. Once I plugged it, Uno. light is there only thing what we have to do we have to go into tool instead of nano we have to select and you know uno here i selected uno and done the compilation and once i'll upload it's again says so i have to make sure that on the serial i'll go to tool port and uh, i have to select my Port, USB port where my UNO is connected so once you can see there is a light this LED is blinking it means the code is uploaded and uh, it's connected and it's working properly and same thing what we can do we can just connect use the mega once we connect it will light will blink up there we have to go into port we have to select the port and then we have to go into boards we have to select mega and compile the code and we'll upload the code so here you can see that light is blinking LED is blinking So this is how we can install the Arduino ID as well as we can test it with all three type of microcontroller. So going forward for CMI operation computer like what we are going to do we are going to write some C++ code by using Arduino ID and we will upload it to the Arduino and we will connect it to the JMRI and we will ensure that DCC++ accessories are working with this combination so i hope this will helpful for you to understand thank you